She might be on her eighth engage engagement, but Katie Price insists she's finally found the one with her fiancé, Carl Woods. It's been a whirlwind 10 months romance for the loved-up pair who are here in the studio for their first television interview since uh, they're sharing their special news. Thank you both for joining Congratulations. us. Congratulations. Thanks for having us. Oh, well, it's fantastic to see you. I love the fact, Katie, we can always hear you before we see you. <laughs> so in the previous interview, there's always some noises off. There's a last-minute panic. How yeah, was it this panic. morning? Do you panic. get used to that, by the way? Yeah, totally, that... yeah. yeah. I will get used yeah. to it. You've only had ten months of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm looking panic, for Panic, like this morning, again, the last time I came on in, my mum was on here, and I, d I was literally late, the traffic. It's happened again today. I haven't done my hair, no makeup. Oh. It is what it is. Good job. She's naturally beautiful, eh? <laughs> hey. oh, is, is, that, oh. is that what has led to this? Is it just Carl being able to cope with everything, praising you, giving you the support? What led to the engagement? Do you know, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, last year, when, before I went into the Priory, I was in there for five and a half weeks. Everything just got to me. You know, media, life, just, it just mm. caught up with me. And I wasn't myself. Remind viewers when that was? Uh, it was... La yeah, it was about a year and a half ago now. So pre... Just before pre lockdown, pandemic, actually. Yeah. And um, I was in a bad way and I knew I had to get help mentally. Yeah. I just couldn't focus on anything. So I was in there for five and a half weeks. It literally changed my life. I came out as a different person mm. like I was ten years ago, more assertive, more in control, not being dictated and realised... I am a human, I'm not a product. So now, these days, I pick and choose what work I want to do. Mm -hmm. I won't be pulled here, there and everywhere. And I think if I'd met Cole before, it wouldn't have worked. Now I'm a different person. I've met him, he's strict, keeps me in line. <laughs> I've turned from a, I would say... She needs that. ...immature to a real woman again and back to the businesswoman that I want. Mm. And don't drink, don't party. Nothing. I mean, I like to think I've got a bit of credit to do with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is, you, definitely. You, you She's can... got to want to adjust, though. Yeah. But from even from when I first met her to now, I can see a massive change in her. Um, when I first met her, I felt like she was quite fragile still. Mm. And she needed, like, not to be nurtured, but just to be almost looked after and calmed down. Yes, yeah, that that's interesting sense. you say that, because a lot of people see Katie as very tough. Yeah, actually, and not, she's not. Not fragile. <laughs> no, yeah. she's not at all. It's all a persona. So, tell us about how you met. Well, <laughs> so, I did... Uh, was his pin-up? Yes, was you... was my pin-up, as when she was you were a, When people. you were a teenager, you had pictures of Katie on your wall? I did, funnily enough. And then I saw her in a restaurant in January last year, but I didn't recognise that it was her. I just thought, that's a good-looking girl over there. As you anyway, <laughs> she will deny this, but she caught me at the bar and said, oh, I like the look of you, as she walked oh, past. As if. She'll <laughs> deny it, see? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, luckily enough, we're friends with the owner of the restaurant. So I badgered this guy for months. Every time she's in there, please let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. And um, a couple of times she was and we couldn't, it wasn't right, I couldn't get there. Or, and one day I got a phone call while I was cooking my chicken. <laughs> I was in there with Princess yeah. having lunch. We yeah. were going to go to Blue Completely Water. Completely random. And he went, yeah. she's here. So I said, I'll be 40 minutes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so princess down. met him the same day as me. Yeah. Didn't she? Pan off, shower, and there. And then we've been together ever since. So hang on, so what did you do when you got to the restaurant? Did you just go and sit at... Sit at oh, she table? knew I was coming. Uh, oh. Yeah, oh. oh, no, I knew he was coming, but I said I haven't got long because I promised Princess we're going shopping. Right. So then Prince was like, oh, come on, Mum. I'm like, OK, I'm coming. And it's weird because we connected and then, um, well, we've been She was due since. to go shop. She said, I can only be here for an hour after you get here. Well, four hours went by. Oh. And Princess got the ump, so she had to leave finally. <laughs> yeah. Fast forward to the yes. engagement. Um, we, yes, it's, it's rather blinding. Well it's rather blinding. Oh, like that. Wow. Well, that is yeah. huge. Where did you engage Oof. and uh, are you able to divulge details of that enormous sparkler? Well, it is lockdown, so what can you do? How did you pull it out the bag? Come on, tell Well, me. I am. Um, <laughs> obviously, we've done so much time together. It's almost like we've been together three years. Mm. Done spent... time together sounds like a prison <laughs> sentence, Carl. <laughs> sometimes it's felt like that. <laughs> it has felt like that sometimes. But, so, I was... Obviously, I knew it was going to happen inevitable. We're going to have to get married, aren't we? And my um, When you say have to it. get married, why did well, you, why do you have to get married? Because I've seen a massive change in her. OK. So I knew that this is who I wanted to be with. This Katie that everybody sees now, this is the, this is the ideal woman for me. So... It was on the cards, um, 
and I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite impatient. So when I wanted to do it, I wanted the ring tomorrow. Yeah. So I contacted the jewellers and this lovely girl at Ranking Jewellers, Jodie, she said, look, we can do what you want, but you're going to have to wait two months. I didn't like it, no. but I did. <laughs> and he went on my and I've been on her phone. to know what rings I liked. Some Princess was Lovely. showing him and my mum. So that's how we I'd got it right. I spoke to <laughs> Princess and her mum and been on her phone and worked out what I could design for her to like. And once Princess and her mum had cleared it, six weeks this girl pulled it out of the bags mm. um, and I had to do it at home, didn't I? Because mm. we were in lockdown. And Katie, did lockdown. you just uh, do you mind holding up the ring? Oh, I, know of you're, I know you're very proud of it and, of and quite right, you, you should be. Um, Ooh. So, when is the wedding? What kind of wedding is this it going year. to be like? Yeah. Who's going to be there? Well, we've discussed it with Wiffy's parents yesterday, my mum. They come up at the weekend and met all the parents. And obviously, my mum's terminally ill and my mum's watching. Love you, mum. And yes, mm. it's the same as when you were here. I was late again and she's going to go <laughs> on me because I had my lips done yesterday. Yes, I did it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> she said, don't you dare do it before you go on telly. Anyway. Um, and she, obviously she's terminally ill and she said she wants us to get married so she sees it. Oh, beautiful. We will so, get married this year. Right? This year, And okay. it will be very different to anything Completely different. Before. My dress will be different, I will look different and my mind is different. And I know so many people out there are like, oh yeah, we've heard this before. Yeah, because before I've rushed into things so much, you know, made wrong choices, um, but my head wasn't right. My Kate, head is so right now. I'm a different person. Katie, your, your, your relationships in the past have been fairly public, haven't they? There have been quite public marriages, public relationships from the wedding yeah. and throughout. How are you going to approach this one now? Are we going to follow your sort of wedding? First is it going to be an open marriage for all of us to like, look inside? <laughs> this lady. I know. You, ca you cannot avoid it. No. no. And you're, you, avoid you, being in and you're on national wife. television right now, so exactly. I think that sort exactly. of answers the question. The only thing that I would say is, as not everyone in this country said the same things about previous partners, than they're with the current one. Because mm. everybody does that. Mm. When you're in that relationship at that time, you say all of those things. He's been engaged in that before, but because he's not in the public eye, That's no right. one yeah. sees it. So we've it's all life. got a pass. Mm. What about, are you going to extend your family? Because you've managed to integrate the of children course. all together, haven't you, so far? You, you're going to have another baby? Uh, we're, so, we're trying now, we really want I would love, one. I'd love children on my own. Um, before this, I swore blind I would never date a girl that had kids. <laughs> right. And I jumped in with five. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, they're all good kids. And you know, another one on the horizon. Oh, we're trying. One or two. Fantastic. Oh, I just <laughs> know. <laughs> but remember, I know everyone says, oh, well, you're engaged and it's, you know, it's been a year. But when you're in lockdown, everyone knows you live and breathe each other 24 7. So. Oh, it's been intense. Yeah. Yeah. But it's great. We don't. We don't argue. It's a great test of a relationship, no, definitely. isn't it? Look, huge congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think you're incredibly compatible. You can feel the connection from here. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's just, you know, it's great to see oh, you so happy. You. Good luck. I am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you for joining us.